Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate diode clipper circuits. These are circuits in which the output signal is clipped by a diode. And into this circuit I'm going to feed a sine wave signal which you can see on the oscilloscope. So the first circuit that I'm going to build is um, a diode clipper circuit in which the diode is forward bias. And you can see we have an AC voltage um, signal, the sine wave, being fed into the forward bias diode, forward bias diode um, with the 1K resistor in between the sine wave and the diode. So um, you can see how the circuit is built. This is the 1K resistor. This is the forward bias diode. So if I now move the oscilloscope probe so that it's at the output you can see the output signal, the clipped output signal. Um, the signal clips at 0 0.7 volts at the positive side. The negative side is completely unclipped. And this is because when the diode is forward bias, during the positive phase of the signal, the diode is forward bias. So you can see um, it consumes about 0 0.7 volts. This diode specifically is a 1N401 diode which is a silicon diode. Silicon diodes consume about 0 0.7 volts when um, when forward bias. So this is why you see 0 0.7 it's clipped at 0 0.7 volts. Now on the negative side of the sine wave signal um, the voltage, the negative voltage sees it differently. It's now reverse bias to the negative voltage and when um, a diode is reverse bias in a circuit, the the voltage sees it as infinitely high resistance, like very high resistance. So it sees it as if it's an open circuit. This is why um, the full voltage gets brought across the output because it's as if it's an open circuit. So this is why the negative um, side of the signal is completely unclipped and yeah so this is why you see this output so now I'm going to um, flip this diode around so that I make it reverse bias so this is the signal when the diode is now reverse bias so you can see the setup of the circuit here. We have the 1K resistor and now the diode is reverse and biased. So this is the diode clipper circuit with the diode um, reverse bias. Same as before, but now the diode is just switched. So that's it. It's in reverse. And we get this signal at the output because when the signal is in the positive phase, the diode is reverse bias. So during the, the positive cycles of the sine wave signal, um, the diode is reverse bias. And when it is this when it is reverse bias, the positive voltage sees it as having infinite resistance resistance, like very high resistance, because it's reverse bias to the positive voltage. So the the positive voltage sees it as if it's an open circuit. So the, the full positive cycle cycles of the sine wave signals gets past the output. Now when during the negative um, cycle of the sine wave um, signal um, the diode is is um, forward bias. So now that it's forward bias it doesn't see it as having infinitely high resistance. It's there's, The resistance is much lower and the simply what happens is the the diode consumes 0 0.7 volts because this is a silicon diode it consumes 0 0.7 volts so this is what happened during the negative cycles of the sine wave signal so this is why you see here it gets clipped at 0 0.7 volts because the di um, the diode is forward biased to the negative cycles of the sine wave signals and it consumes the 0 0.7 volts so it gets clipped at negative 0 0.7 volts and the positive cycle is untouched and passes fully to output so this is now the circuit um, when the diode is forward bias with DC voltage at the output 
and with this DC voltage we can kind of choose the level where the clip signal gets cut off at the positive end of the signal so this is the circuit that we're going to build it's the AC voltage signal the sine wave going through the 1k resistor into the forward bias diode and then we have DC voltage at the output and what this DC voltage does is it can boost the level where the signal gets clipped at without the DC voltage the signal gets clipped at around 0 0.7 volts because that's what um, that's the voltage that a diode consumes but with DC voltage added it's like you add to that 0 0.7 volt level so that you can get the the clip signal at a at a higher level so right in this circuit um this is the example we're using 3 volts of DC voltage so with the 0 0.7 volts across the diode plus 3 volts now the signal clips at 3.7 volts so this is what a DC voltage can do it can raise the level at which the signal gets clipped so if I go back now to the signal right now I have about 2 volts um, going into the at the output so if I if I raise the voltage now you can see the level at which the signal gets clipped it gets higher and higher if I lower it you can see it gets lower and lower again if I raise it you can see it raises up so that we can adjust the the level at which the positive signal gets clipped when the diode is forward biased so um, this just shows goes to show you that you can adjust the level where the signal gets clipped by adding um, DC voltage to the output. So now a circuit is built so that um, the diode is reverse bias and we add DC voltage to the output so we can adjust where where the um, negative cycle negative part of the signal gets clipped. So this is the circuit that we have that we've built. Um, we have the sine wave going through the 1k resistor um, to a diode um, in a reverse bias and we have DC voltage at the output and with this DC voltage we can adjust where the negative um, part of the signal gets clipped so um, a diode by itself without DC voltage consumes 0 0.7 volts with the um, DC voltage we can adjust the level where the negative part of the signal gets clipped so if we add 3 volts now we get clipped at negative um, 3.7 volts so so here we have the circuit right now we have about 2 volts feeding into the circuit so DC voltage so if I raise this level voltage you can see that um, the voltage is getting clipped at a greater negative voltage and if I decrease it you can see it gets clipped at a a lower negative voltage so again if I raise it you can see it gets clipped at a much greater negative voltage so by adjusting the DC voltage at the output we can um, adjust where the signal gets clipped at so this is the signal now when we have two diodes in the circuit um, we have two diodes um, in parallel with each other in opposite polarity or opposite orientation one is forward bias and the other is reverse bias so this is the circuit that we now have built um, the sine wave goes through the 1k resistor and then goes to um, two diodes in parallel one is forward bias and the other is reverse bias so you have opposite polarity op or opposite orientation um, and the output signal clips at z positive 0 0.7 volts and negative 0 0.7 volts during the positive phase this dial consumes 0 0.7 volts and this is where we get the positive 0 0.7 volts clipped at and during the negative phase of the signal this dial consumes 0 0.7 volts and that's how we get negative 0 0.7 volts so um, again this is the 
signal at the output um, when we have two dots in parallel in opposite um, orientation. And with this output signal, you can control where the signal gets clipped by adding DC voltage, as I've shown in other diode clipper circuits. You can add it to either one or both diodes. So you can control where the signal gets clipped at the positive and or negative um, part of the signal. And this is just a showing of diode clipper circuits.